Hello, this is Dark Evil Cheese. And I'm Mando Cat. And this is our review of the Hot Toys Star Wars Mandalorian 1 6 scale Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike. And also Grogu, that they don't say in the box, but he's in there. <laughs> and this was a Christmas present from Fu Manchu from Fu Reviews. You're spoiled. I am! <laughs> this is an expensive thing. Mm. <laughs> This is, uh, I don't know, this might be the most expensive thing he ever sent. I'm not sure. He did send that Venom pool, which is pretty expensive, but this is also pretty expensive, too. We bought ourselves a joint Christmas present that was pretty expensive, too, but that's not going to come for a while, so you'll have to wait for the video. Yeah. I think, still, that's even, that's still cheaper than what this is. I, oh, yeah. I think. <laughs> Probably. But this is something I never really thought that I would have. I always kind of wanted it because I thought it would be cool to, well, just have a biker scout with his bike in general. But also after seeing Mandalorian, I thought it would be cool to have... This particular one? Yeah, and to have the ability to put IG-11 on it with Baby Yoda strapped to his chest. And you can do that with this. But, uh, yeah, just look at the box. So, you got the nice picture of the figure up there. You can see... Grogu peeking out, smiling. Picture of the trooper down there, relaxing. And then, oh, the box is kind of catching on the paper. How does my paper get all messed up? <laughs> <laughs> there's a picture on the side of him shooting, probably missing horribly. <laughs> Shooting that little can or or whatever that little part they were shooting at. <laughs> no, we're not signing no picture over here. What the hell are they? There's there, there's that. No, right no, there. no. <laughs> Back's probably a bunch of boring. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. And we gotta lift this up like a giant. Like thirty size shoe shoe box. <laughs> size thirty. Ugh. Maybe it's just a, a pair of go-go boots. That's why it's got a big box. Maybe. The clown shoes. <laughs> okay. Hey, they got two on there. Well, there's two in those scenes from the show, but there's only one in the box. You gotta buy another one. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a pretty cool picture, though. And then you take this little cover off. And there they are in there. And it looks a little different than the usual figures just because because they got this giant wide box and then a figure just kind of sitting in the middle of it. Two figures sitting in the middle of it. Look how they have the big Star Wars thing there. You know what I'm going to call him? What? Baby puncher. <laughs> he does punch Jerk. Babies. I'm going to have to have him punch a, punch a baby in this. So as you can see there's two layers. You got this front layer has got some extra hands and parts to a gun and part to a suit. The Grogu in the bag. In the back you got the base and a bunch of speeder biker parts. Looks like there's two different types of bases. A base for just him or a base for the speeder bike. But we're going to get all that out of there. Alright, there he is all opened up with all his accessories laid out. I guess I should say they because there's Grogu there too. Even though they, wanna, they don't want to acknowledge his existence on the box. He's not a, he, a person, he's an accessory. Yeah, <laughs> he is. That does bug me that all these Grogu's are releasing, they don't, they could just, they could have gave him a little simple body that doesn't even need finished underneath here with some cloth. And you could pose them. Like, I don't get why they want to do this plastic chunk. I mean, I guess it's just easier for them, but I mean, I'd rather it be cloth. It'd be so easy to do. I mean, they wouldn't even have to give him, like, legs or anything. They could just make it a block that bends in the middle. Yeah. But, uh, still, I do like we get a, we get another head with this one. Same body again. I think this is the third body I have like this now. Is it? No, that one's, like, weirdly shaped because it goes in the... Yeah, okay, well, we have two bodies like this then. But, it's the third head sculpt we have now. This is the happy smiling head that he has when he's flying around on the speeder bike. So that's good. Yeah, this set is really cool. It's not even put together and it's really awesome looking. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Foo. This is a really awesome present. Is that really exciting? 
That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I just show Mando Cat and Fu the video of the the girlfriend who's mad that her boyfriend went out to Vegas, so she destroys his speeder bike and biker scout. Well, actually, she just she, she takes the guy off the bike and just destroys him. And supposedly that video might be fake and it was just all set up, but just love watching it. It's like, ugh, I'd be so pissed if that really did happen. It, se it seems very staged to me, the way that they act in it. Yeah, but... But it's also just really dumb. It's just hard to watch. But anyway, I had a really cool having this, but when I opened this on Christmas Day, Mando Cat looked over at me and she's like, where are you going to put that? <laughs> <laughs> Up your butt. <laughs> Because we, we have, right now, some of our more recent figures are standing on the floor in front of our cases. Because there's nowhere to go. And, and our cases are already jam-packed. I don't know. There's just not enough room. Not and, I mean, we could get more cases, but we don't have enough house. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not saying I don't want to get the figures. It's just, I wish there was a good place to display them. Mm -hmm. But, look at what he comes with. There's two different bases. You get a base to screw this into to put the bike on. And you also get the base if you just want the trooper standing by himself. So that's cool. That's also a cool option if you want to put IG-11 on there. And then just stick him over there on this. Which I don't know what I want to do, but... He I'll also figure it out. <laughs> comes with this little thing that I think attaches to a suit somewhere. In the back. And then he's got... Five alternate hands, once for holding the gun, once for holding the handle. Over here there's one for holding a handle, and then fist for each arm. It's got a little tiny blaster. So you can punch babies. Yeah. <laughs> Magnets for his feet to attach to the pedals. And well there's the handles you gotta put in. A little bag to stuff Grogo in and punch them. And then some extra wrist joints. Well, now we gotta try to put this together, which doesn't look like it's gonna be very hard. So these just go in there like that. Then these little wires. Well, these are stiff wires. I guess they go in, in that little hole there. And it looks like it, it can go in and out, so it has some give, I guess. These go into there. Oh, they do? Yeah. Well, gee golly. Everything's gonna go in everything. Alright, so I got them pistons in there. Another thing is, is like I'm almost feeling like if I press right here somewhere, this whole seat's gonna go flying, shooting off into, <laughs> into the, the next injector seat. Yeah. Because it's bigger, it'll have a stronger spring and just go meow, smack against the wall. But <laughs> luckily, this one doesn't do that. The control panel looks really nice. I like all the little knobs and levers and stuff. Yeah. And I really like the weathering on the whole bike. Well, yeah, that looks really good. That really looks like. It's been weathered and not, I mean, not just painted on. It looks like it's been beat yep. up. Yep, yep. <laughs> it looks really good. And they got it in appropriate spots, like where his legs were rubbed and that kind of thing. And this where dirt where the intake, air intake's probably at. Yeah, in the likely places that, like gravel or whatever, would smack and hit it. Tree branches. Uh, yep, even up on front. That looks really good. It's so cool. Um, <laughs> Fu was saying that I'm going to tie a string to this and go outside and just swing it around in a circle going <laughs> playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> I forget why now that he was saying that, but... <laughs> picture in that now. Oh, yeah. our neighbors already think we're insane, so... Yeah. <laughs> That weirdo with the skulls on his porch is outside swinging a toy around on a string, swinging it above his head. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and then the biker scout would just go flying somewhere. <laughs> and I'd probably be standing on the porch giggling. <laughs> <laughs> One little detail Hot Toys noticed from the show was that they put the knee pads on upside down. Because that's how they are in the show. They're upside down from how they are in Return of the Jedi. I've seen someone mentioned that a while back when that episode came up but yeah if you look at return of the jedi these are turned upside down but 
you could do it either way because these are removable so if you want to fix it even though it wouldn't be accurate to the Mandalorian show you can fix it if you wanted so stuck this thing on his belt that's cool I always like the design of these thanks to zombie cat I'm gonna think of something else now <laughs> but it's, it just it's looks like a sort of like a paintball or what I always thought of like dirt bike and I think it's supposed to look like a dirt bike it does kind of look like dirt bike gear but the helmet also just reminds me of the flying nun yeah which you didn't even know what that was and I had to show you yes I think this is one of them alternate dimension things so <laughs> That never existed in my dimension when I was younger, and now our dimensions have merged, and this is a thing. I don't. I don't even remember what the show was about at all. I just remember a dumbass hat and her flying yeah. around the air. You just showed me video of it. And I'm like, what? How? How do I not know about this? Is stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I always liked her design because it was. It was like a stormtrooper, but just different and just kind of cool looking. It was one of my favorite figures of the original little three and three quarter Kenner figures. Except the original ones, I don't even know if this one can do it. I don't know if he can do it, but the original ones had to just sit on it like this. <laughs> <laughs> and the, wow, fun! <laughs> yeah. And there's this little blaster that goes into there. That's cool. I do like how he's got armor, but a lot of like soft parts. He's got cargo pants. Yeah, it's all mixed together instead of just all hard parts. So put the rod into the base and the bike onto it. And it just goes right on. Yeah. And you can make it fly up in the air or to the side, however you want to do it. So the directions show that you pop these little silver things out of here and you can put the straps of the bag in there. So there's the, the bag put in there. Mando Cat was looking up clips from this and there's really only a brief moment where it's like this in the show. But you, he's usually got it hanging off the side or he's holding on to it. It's like on his shoulder hanging on, hanging on his hip. Yeah. I also put the magnets into the pedals so those feet can attach to it. I guess we can try to get him on there now. Okay, takes a little bit of patience to get him onto the bike. Get all of his uh, arms and wrists, legs, knees, everything in position. A little tough to do, but we got him pretty close, I think. It looks like a believable position, I guess. The magnets on the feet. It didn't well, seem like they did anything. <laughs> yeah, they don't seem to really be helping that much, but still it looks like his feet are on there, so it works. There's Grogu hanging out in the bag while he's strapped to the biker scout's shoulder. He's getting ready to get punched in the head. <laughs> for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's show us off some of the moving parts of the bike, because there's a decent amount of things that move. Got these little butt flaps. It's like the original Kenner figure, the Kenner vehicle can move around. And then the little pedals can go so far. Then these handles and the pistons can move. Well, these can move too, I didn't realize that. These spin there, and these go up and down. And then these little flaps move. About these ones, no. Mm. I think that's it. This moves too. What? Oh it's yeah, the little, little blaster. That's cool. So yeah, decent amount of moves on that. Well, this, also this, which is kind of a lot. That's one thing I was saying is it seems like it's. If you want it in that position, it just kind of swings down. So I don't know if it's not connecting all you the way. You might be able to put something in there to get it to stick Yeah, there. some tack or something. This little hexagonal top here has to fit in there just right. And then it won't spin around anymore. So that's cool. I'll do his articulation. 
I think he has a little more than the average Hot Toys just because he needs to have it to fit on that bike and with this type of material it really makes a good baggy pants yeah really good articulation at the knees and really good at the ankle and the hips really good there torso it's a little limited because all the armor and belts and everything I guess and the shoulder the armors can move out of the way so you can get that all over the place double joint at the elbow good at the wrist really good at the head so yeah, his articulation is really good it's way better than like the stormtroopers they're a little more limited than I would like and there's a scout trooper next to a stormtrooper I forget which movie this is from. I think it's Return of the Jedi. But, yeah, you see this is very clean compared to this dirty Mandalorian Biker Scout. Well, he's not Mandalorian, but you know what I mean. From the Mandalorian show. And here is IG-11. He's the main guy that interacts with these two speeder bikers. Well, we only got one, but I mean, the speeder biker. Which that was an awesome scene. I still don't know how the hell he caught up to them with as fast as they were flying their things, but he did. So it was still a cool scene. But now I want to try to get him on that bike. So there's IG-11 riding the speeder bike. The Grogu hanging on his chest. Super happy about the whole thing. The whole situation he's in. I think... I think we're gonna need to display it with him on it. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it. It looks so good. And the, the biker scout is cool enough that I think he, mm -hmm. he'd find just standing over off to the side. Maybe stand to the side with his hands on his hips like, you stole my bike! <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, we could put him back on there someday. <laughs> there. But that does look really cool. That is such a memorable scene. Yep. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I would prefer this or the the scout on it, but I think I really like this. Especially since they give him that smiling face on Grogu. Yeah. It's, it's just so good. And the, the strap on the bag is too long, so I had to use a wire to tie it to that little, his little butt peg. Why does he have a butt peg? I don't know. What is that for? Uh, <laughs> this is reverse wiener. Robot wiener. <laughs> but that is so cool. I like that a lot. It's, I'm very pleased. This makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Foo. <laughs> okay. So, this is an awesome gift. This is an awesome gift. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks, Foo. This is really cool. It's extravagant. <laughs> yeah. Just messing around with the stick in the the biker scout on the bike and putting Grogu in different spots and it's then especially even sticking sticking IG-11 on there is really cool and that really makes me think of that scene like we were saying like I was saying I wasn't sure how I'd want to keep them but seeing IG-11 on there it's like oh that's how I want it <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool yeah I'm really happy with this so I'm glad you sent this and the speeder bike is really awesome with the weathering, all the little parts that move. And the biker scout himself is really cool. He's weathered really nice. And he's very articulated, one of the most articulated hot toys figures we got, I think. A lot of them don't move very well. Even for a stormtrooper, the way his armor's designed makes it a lot easier. Yeah. And the options are cool I like that you can you get a base for the trooper and a base for the bike and it's a different it's sand that sandy base again I think it's the same one but they painted it different and it looks cool mm -hmm. I like the color of the sand and, and the rocks and everything it looks real nice so yep it's a really nice set Ever cool. so thanks Fu it's really awesome and I think you spent too much but yeah 
And thank you for me too. This isn't my present, but I still get to enjoy it, so thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of these six scale figures are kind of for both of us, but Yeah. <laughs> so I'm kinda lean toward me I say this probably lean toward me a little more, but I know you like the whole Sometimes we just claim some of them too. Like Chewbacca's mine, I don't care what you say. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> Um, you can look at them while you want. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, yep, I love this set. It's awesome. If, if you're able to get it, I think it's worth it. Especially if you're a fan of the Mandalorian version of it. And those the scenes with the with Grogu and all that. Well, this is Darth Evil Cheese. And I'm Mando Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Come on. Just let me see it. You got to see it. Yeah, just for like a second, when I grabbed it, barely got to see it. Come on, man. I just want to see what it is. Huh? Fine. Here, look. If anything happens. Calm down. Oh. What is this little thing? Ah! The damn thing bit me! <laughs> Stupid little thing. Not like what you did. You knocked it on the ground. Oh, wait, it's coming out of there. What the hell is that creature? Oh, wait. It, it, oh. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit, man. What, what is it? What is it doing to you? Get it off me! Get it off! I don't know what to do! Oh crap! Don't you look at me, you little thing! <laughs> <laughs>